Hello there guys and girls, this is the Prussian Prince with another Total War Attila tournament match. This is Cup of Nations 2015, second group stage. Uh, group 5, match between Achilles of Agony, playing as the Hunts, and Silverwind of Wolf Clan, playing as the Vandals. Again, they're playing on planes, as usual, because it is group stage. Uh, let me go over the builds. So the Hunts have, let's see, Step Chieftain Gold 3. Uh, actually, no abilities on it. Replay bug or probably general bug, more likely. Achilles doesn't have anything. Uh, yeah, he doesn't have any abilities on it. Interestingly enough, yeah, I guess he his general just got bugged in the army selection screen, so he doesn't have any abilities. Kind of unfortunate for him. Yes. Anyway, rest of the forces. Five step mounted tribes people up front. Behind we have two war archers with two step bows. Uh, right behind those, we see six war warriors, and all the way in the back, three Bosran warriors. Now, let's look at the units of the Vandals, aka um, Silverwind. Let's see what he has. So, Germanic Nobles General with Brace. Uh, rest of the cavalry forces, well, not rest of the cavalry forces, but the cavalry forces. Let's look at them. Two Germanic Horsemen, gold two on the left, two Germanic Horsemen, gold two on the right. Then in the center we have a gold one Germanic Horseman and a gold two Germanic Horseman unit. Uh, now for the pikes, up front three Germanic pikes and supported by three Germanic archers. You also see some noble Swaby swordsmen on the field, interesting choice. Two on the left, two on the right. These units are insane in melee combat, combat so uh, I mean, uh, it's gonna. Hunts have to be careful against those noble Swaby swordsmen, but other than that, let's see. The Germanic archers, of course, can outrange the step bows, so they will do fairly well against the step bows and the Ur archers because of excellent range versus good range, of course. Uh, so that's something that has to be kept in mind. Um, so, so, a lot of kiting can be done here by the Vandals, uh, of course. Now, let's look at the other possibilities. Well, what Vandals can do is, well, their center is never going to get charged because uh, by the cavalry, so just because of the pike. So on the flanks is most likely where the Hunts are going to have to use their cavalry. So say something like this, something like this, but no way something like this is going to work. Only, a, only with infantry like these Bosphoran warriors can be used to break through the Germanic pikes as they are heavy. You probably don't want to waste war warriors charging in frontally, even though they could break through the Germanic pikes, but probably don't want to do that. You want to keep them against the noble Swaby swordsmen. As for the Germanic horsemen, uh, well, the usual stop them with step mount the tribes people and then supporting with really strong war warriors is going to work very well. Or even Bosphoran warriors or Bosphoran infantry. Uh, has to be done in such a way though that the noble Swaby swordsmen can't get in because these guys will wreck, of course. Uh, the thing is, they don't have that much uh, melee attack, so uh, the Ors with support should do better. Again, three Ors against two noble Swaby swordsmen, two Germanic horsemen. I mean, this engagement is gonna go well for the Huns matched up against these units, unless the Germanic horsemen can get into the Ors. This is a good engagement for the Huns. This should also be a good engagement for the Huns. I mean, on the flanks, the Huns have the advantage. I would say that for sure. Let's see, Step Chieftain over here. Hmm. Yeah, I, I'm liking the position of the Huns if he engages on the flanks. He can win both flanks, I think, if played properly. It's two cav against two cav, but three good infantry against two good infantry. So, um, yeah, that is going to be the difference here. So, let's see. Uh, cavalry pushing up forward over here by uh, the Hunts. Uh, this is a bit uh, of a mistake. Nice job here with the Cavalry now pulling it back because he doesn't want to get it shot. Um, has to be careful though because these Cavalry units, if they charge the center of the Hunts, could be massive. But, I mean, right now we could see the cab go in like this and totally crush the Bosphoran warriors. But there's cavalry in reserve, so perhaps he doesn't want to do this. What is this over here? 
this is a huge mistake by the Huns, not getting the proper charges off. Lots second charge, but still. Uh, this is a bit too overextending uh, the Huns are, I mean. This is weird, but these engagements definitely going to go well for the Huns as he got in with his infantry. First, watch this Germanic horseman die very quickly. Uh, some cap though, by the Vandals, going around and very nicely rear charging the war warriors, doing a lot of damage to them. Uh, step Mountain drives to of course, will die here, but Noble Suebi Swordsmen are gonna throw some axes here and are gonna do a lot of damage to the wars. But some friendly fire as well, though. So, left flank is. And these units here are going to die. The cavalry is routed off the field, but wars here are fighting. So they'll be able to tear down these, this Germanic horseman, especially as now it's pulling out, so it's going to lose a lot of men. Uh, look at it, it's just down to 19 men. And now the Bosphorian warriors will try and get into the archers, but they don't have an attacker on the Germanic pikes. A step chieftain engaged against the Germanic horseman. This is a, could be a blunder as the step chieftain might die here. Again, this engagement should go very well uh, for the Huns. But Noble Swaby Swordsmen, as you see, they are very tanky units. Something to consider. Again, left flank turned around for uh, for the Huns. Just because of the insane war warriors. As you can see, they're destroying the Noble Swaby Swordsmen. It's expected. But here is the problem for the Huns. The general is lost. And if he dies, which he hasn't died yet though, so that's very fortunate for the Huns. He's only leaving the field, which... Yeah, it's very good for the Huns, of course, but he's not dead. He survives with nine men left. Very lucky for the Huns here. And now the Bosphorn warriors charging forward into the pikes. Not the best engagement, though. Here. But again, they're heavy infantry, so they can break through the pikes. Nice charge here with the Germanic horsemen, but this is probably going to be their last charge. No way they get out of here. Again, the flanks are getting kind of mopped up by... The Huns, not over here though. This is where the Huns actually have a disadvantage, but something is wrong with the attack orders on these war warriors because they're kind of like moving around doing nothing. So the noble Suebi swordsman here. I mean, this engagement is deceiving because this is a Germanic noble, so it's really bad at fighting. Uh, this is a noble Suebi swordsman, which is about to be dead, but with this rear charge, could turn things around and might definitely will, I guess. Uh, yeah, so this engagement has gone well for the Vandals, but I mean he lost pretty hardcore on his right because that's where it went well for uh, the Huns. He got the infantry in very quickly, whereas on this side it was kind of uh, mistimed. And it's very important the timing of your units. And now these bows still alive for the Huns, targeting the Germanic archers, not actually. Targeting the Germanic horsemen. Okay, finally. Once these horses die, which are now getting targeted, this is very good for the Huns. Uh, definitely should have kept these Germanic horsemen in reserve, I would think. Because right now, they're not going to do too much, as you can see here. Uh, they might make it, but they're just going to take so much damage. And, ooh, yeah. This is a risk that uh, the Vandals took. And it looks like they might actually make it, but at the end they just route. So very close to getting to the archers and getting them off the field. But horses route off the field because uh, they didn't have enough morale. These war archers might get caught by the pikes just charging them, but yeah. So war archers just pulling around, trying to do the work. Noble Swaby Swordsman again dying to war warriors. War is just extremely strong units, of course. I mean, it's six war warriors against four noble Swaby swordsmen. So, not only do I think that an war one on one beats a noble Swaby swordsman, uh, it's also the fact that uh, that uh, what was I gonna say? That it's six against four, so definite advantage in terms of infantry for the Huns. Not to mention the extra uh, Bosphoran infantry units, Bosphoran warriors. So. The cavalry had to pay off for the Vandals, and it didn't. So, the Huns uh, were able to get the advantage here. We have the yeah, this eye. looks like it's going to be game. Let's fast forward. Not much to be seen. So it's getting engaged. Watching the engagement unfold. 
So that is game. Looks like Achilles wins his final game in the group. A uh, lot of kills on the Ours, as expected here. Noble Swaby Swordsman, I mean, they did all right, but considering the cost, pound for four pound, Ur Warriors much more effective. Yeah, really hard to make this work, I guess. So yeah, hope you guys and girls enjoy. If you want to see more, don't forget to comment, rate and subscribe, follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Google+. Share the video, and I'll see you next time.